Assalamualaikum and um, good day to all of you. My name is Umi Kaosun binti Abdul Karim. So in this video, I would like to explain about how to do a uh, calibration of volumetric glassware. Okay, meaning that we will learn how to calibrate a volumetric glass, pipette and urex. First, we look how to calibrate a volumetric glass. We know that a volumetric glass come in several sizes, like um, there are 25ml volumetric glass, 50ml volumetric glass, and also 100ml volumetric glass. But um, the method is the same. So um, in this case, I will show to you how to calibrate a um, 100ml volumetric glass. Okay, so as you can see here, the first step is is you need to um, calculate the mass of empty clean hundred ml volumetric glass and its stopper. Okay, and then you need to transfer hundred ml volume of distilled water from pipette into the volumetric glass until the calibration mark, and then. You must lick the fill volume jet flask with stopper and calculate the mass of this water delivered by difference. Meaning that you we just need the weight of the this water in the volumetric plus we doesn't want the weight of the empty volumetric flask and its stopper. So you need to um know how to use the balance uh analytical balance and uh subtract okay the weight of the Mm, volume trick flask and its stopper. Okay, just determine the weight of the. We just need the weight of the distilled water in the volume trick flask, right? And then from the delivered mass of water, you need to calculate the volume delivered using the appropriate density data table. Okay, uh, I will show you later how to calculate the volume delivered using the de the density data table, and then. Measure the temperature of the distilled water, and last step is repeat the calibration for three times and determine the mean volume delivered and the standard deviation. Okay, so here is the example of the data. Okay, so this one is the mass of distilled water that you have a uh, weight using the answer balance, and then this is the temperature of distilled water. And this is the density of the still water. Okay, uh, we get the density of the distilled water uh, based on this table. Okay, so for this one, the temperature is twenty five. So the density of the distilled water will be uh, zero point ninety nine 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 seven zero five. Okay, zero point nine nine seven zero five gram per mil, and then uh, once um, you do the you weigh the mass of the distilled water. Okay, you need to calculate okay the true volume of the distilled water uh, from the mass of water. Okay, using this formula. Okay. True volume of this water will be equal to mass over density. Okay, mass here is the mass of this water divided by the density of the this water. Okay, mass ninety nine point six seven divided with the zero point nine nine seven zero five, and then you get the true volume of this water, which is ninety nine point nine six mL. Right, and then. Uh, once you get the true volume of the water, okay, we do the correction. Okay, correction is the true volume calculated from mass of water minus volume delivered. So true volume here is ninety nine point nine six minus the volume delivered. Okay, uh, because we use we use the hundred mil volume to pass, so volume delivered will be hundred mil. So ninety nine point nine six minus hundred mil. So the correction will be not negative zero point zero four. Mil. Okay, so this is only the first trial, so you need to do it uh, at least uh, three times to get the mean um, 
volume deleted and also the standard deviation. For your syllabus, um, you do not need to know how to do the calculation. Okay, you just need to know the technique. Okay, this one. But I'll show you the calculation because um, by showing you the calculation, you will understand more about the technique. Okay. All right. Next, uh, we proceed to the technique to calibrate a pipette. Okay. Uh, pipette also come in several sizes. Okay, we have 25, uh, 20 mil pipette, 25 mil, uh, and also 100 mil pipette. Okay, um, but in this case, I uh, will show you how to um, uh, do the calibrations of 50 mil pipette. Okay, the first step. Okay. Uh, you need to determine the mass of empty conical flask, okay, and then transfer 50 ml volume of distilled water from 50 ml pipette into the flask, okay. Weigh the flask and its content and calculate the mass of water delivered by difference. Again, uh, in this case, we just need the mass of the uh, distilled water uh, delivered okay, from the pipette. We doesn't want the mass of the empty conical flask. Okay. So you uh, again you should know how to use the balance and subtract the mass of um, empty conical flask. Okay. And then from the delivered mass of water, you need to calculate the volume delivered using the appropriate density table. Measure the temperature of the water and then repeat the calibration three times and calculate the mean volume delivered and the standard deviation. Okay. Um, uh, so, uh, the step, okay, is almost the same with the volumetry plus okay um, and the calculation okay the calculation to calculate the volume delivered okay uh, using the appropriate density data table also the same with this one okay true volume uh, delivered will be equal to mass over density and the mass and the density you must refer to this uh, density data table okay Next, we proceed to the technique to calibrate a burette. Okay, calibrating a burette is similar to the procedure for a pipette, except the several volumes will be delivered. Okay, let's say uh, we want to calibrate a 50 ml burette. Okay, we know that 50 ml burette can deliver several volumes like 10 ml, 20 ml, um, 30 ml. 40 mil and 50 mil. Okay, unlike pipette, if we have 50 mil pipette, 50 mil pipette only can deliver 50 mil um, volume. Okay, but burette, okay, for 50 mil burette, it can deliver several volumes. So we need to calibrate uh, we need to uh, measure the mass of the volume delivered okay so this is the data for calibrations of 50 mil burette okay so as you can see here the difference between the pipette for burette there will be there will be several volume will be delivered okay so this is the mass of water delivered if you deliver for for 30 mil 10 ml burette, you have to measure it, the, the mass using the balance. And then, once you measure the mass using the balance, you need to calculate the true volume calculated from mass of water by dividing the mass with the density. Okay? Um, and then, for, let's say for 10 ml burette, if you deliver 10 ml burette, um, 
okay if you deliver 10 mil burette the exact volume that will deliver will not exactly be 10 mil okay you have to refer the final reading burette and also initial reading burette to get the volume delivered by the burette okay i think this one uh, all of you know to get the volume delivered by burette final reading must be minus final reading burette minus the initial reading burette to get the volume delivered by the burette uh, and then, um, okay, uh, so for the example uh, calculation that here, okay, I show you the 50 ml, okay, 50 ml, okay, so the mass of water for when you deliver 50 ml water from the burette, the mass of water will be 49.661, divide with the density, and we get the true volume calculated from mass of water is 49.76 mil. Okay, 49.76 mil. And the correction will be true volume calculated from mass of water, 49.76 mil, minus volume delivered. Okay, so volume delivered here is 49.77. So the correction is negative 0.01 mil. Okay, again, um, it's only the first trial, so you need to do it the calibration three times to get the mean and also the standard deviation. Okay. Alright, so I think that's all. I hope all of you can understand. Uh, so um thank you and stay safe everyone. Assalamualaikum.